how to calculate depreciation using these said depreciation methods. Last but not least, you'll have to know how to calculate or determine profit or loss on sale of fixed assets. The first method we have is what we call diminishing balance, sharing value or book value method. Whether you use diminishing, sharing value or book value, it really doesn't matter, but you need to know the synonyms. Here, what's key is the synonyms. Know that it can either be diminishing, sharing value or book value. The book value method calculates depreciation on the book value. So what is the book value? The book value is the amount left when you deduct or subtract depreciation or accumulated depreciation from the cost price of a depreciable fixed asset. We know not every fixed asset loses value. We have land and buildings which increase in value over time. So you will not calculate depreciation on land and buildings. So how does the diminishing balance method work out? You'll see that we have cost price of 100,000. Accumulated depreciation there over time is 30,000. So the carrying value or book value is 70,000. We calculate the book value when we subtract cost price from the accumulated depreciation. Key here is to know how to calculate depreciation. You use what we call ART. So what does ART stand for? A stands for amount. In this case, the amount will be the carrying value. A will then be followed by R, which stands for rate. Here we use the rate given. And this rate will depend on the depreciation policy of the business. The last alphabet is T, which is time. We know in a financial year, we have 12 months. So it will depend on how long you had this asset for in that specific financial year. Then you will calculate depreciation as such. So let's use this example to calculate depreciation. In this example, we are told that the asset Disposal amount represents the cash received for the sale of equipment on 31 December 2015. Its cost price was 66200 and accumulated position was 43225 on 1 March 2015. And the rate at which we will depreciate this equipment will be 15% per year. So 1 March 2015 being the beginning of the year and 28 February 2016 being the end. How does the art look like? The amount will be 66,200 minus accumulated position amount of 43,225. Then you multiply that by R rate, 15% multiplied by 10 over 12. Where did I get the 10? We count from 1 March to 31 December. It gives us 10. So it will be 10 over 12. It gives us 2,872. It may give you 2,871, but I rounded that up. Then we have cost price straight line of fixed installment method. Here, the depreciation amount is calculated on the cost price of a fixed asset. We don't subtract the accumulated depreciation from the cost price in order to determine the depreciation amount. We purely use the cost price. Let's look at the example. We are told that the asset disposal amount represents cash received for sale of equipment on 31 December 2015. Its cost price was 66,200 and accumulated position was 43,225 on 1 March 2015. That's the beginning of the financial year. The rate at which this equipment is calculated will be 15% per annum. Then here is our example. 
we have the art amount will be 66,200 and the rate will be 15%, 15 over 100, you times that by 10 over 12. It gives you 8,275. Where did I get the 10? It's from 1 March to 31 December 2015. In determining profit, this is what we need to take into account. We have the cost price, which is 100,000, and we have accumulated possession of 20,000, which gives us 80,000 as the carrying value. Then let's assume you sell your fixed asset for 90,000. You, you'll know that we have a difference of 10,000, and we measure the value of the asset on carrying value. That's the real worth of the asset at the point of sale. Therefore, in calculating profit, we will say 90,000, which is the selling price, minus 80,000, which is the real value of the asset at the point of sale, which is carrying value. Then our profit will be 10,000. So in determining profit, carrying value has to be less than the selling price, or selling price has to be more than the carrying value. So, moving to loss, cost price is 100,000, accumulated possession is 20,000, it leaves us with 80,000 as the book value. Let's assume the selling price is 70,000, therefore our loss will be 70,000 which is the selling price minus 80,000 which is the carrying value or book value, it gives us a minus 10,000 and that's our loss. So what is a loss? A loss is when the selling price is less than the carrying value. Thank you for staying with me up to this point. Enjoy. I hope I've been of service to you and remember you can ask questions either here on this platform or Facebook or I'm also on Twitter.